my dad hired this pavement company, or I don't know exactly what you'd call them, but a company that's laying down a new, a fresh coat of um, pavement for our driveway. Little did my dad know that it meant there'd be four, three or four shirtless men hanging around outside the house today. <laughs> Wanted to share with you what I'm having for lunch right now. I took some uh, leftover quinoa and chickpea salad that my mom had made. I added some mixed green olives, avocado, and then poured some uh, brads over top of it. Poured some of that over it and just mix it together. And it is quite good. So I rarely cook things, but I uh, was inspired by a recipe that I saw on the fork and beans food blog today. It's really simple. It's a polenta, they are polenta pizza bites. So what we've got going on are, it was a tube of polenta sliced up into half inch rounds now on parchment paper. We're gonna melt some cheese, vegan cheese on there, and then we've got some cut up bell peppers, black olives, and onion. And now mom is, what are you doing? I'm gonna add some cauliflower to some Brussels. And then maybe I'll ask dad to ask, add his spices he does into that. Okay, so just remove the polenta pieces or rounds from the oven at two minutes at the broil stage on the oven. <laughs> and now I'm gonna flip them, add the tomato sauce and the other toppings. I think I'm just gonna go with nutritional yeast for the cheese instead of the, the other faux cheese stuff that we got because I tried it and it wasn't very good. <music> toppings on. We're back in the oven for two minutes, just took them out again, and this is what they look like. Cute! Yeah, so dinner wasn't so bad. Um, maybe not the best meal I've ever had, but I probably should have put more stuff on them. But it wasn't too bad. Very quick. Two minutes on broil on each side and the toppings are once the toppings are prepared. You could also put, you know, vegan sausage links and different things like that in it and have other sides and make it a little more substantial, but definitely a good go-to in a pinch. I'm really looking forward to next week. The vlog is going to get a little more exciting because I will officially be heading out in the next leg of the book tour. Before that happens, though, I'm going to Florida Keys first to go to a friend's wedding. And then from there, I'll be heading to a new city each week. And actually, at the end of the month, a couple new places in the last few weeks of October before kind of rounding out the major part of the book tour. Maybe I'll try to squeeze in a few more cities uh, in early November, but we'll see. That always gets a little tough around the holidays to plan stuff like that, so we'll see. Um, also, I'm excited because I finally launched the web pages with the information for my Nicaragua retreat that I'm co-hosting in February on Little Corn Island. It's going to be amazing. I finally have all of the necessary info out there, and tomorrow I'm going to make a nice little intro video with more uh, information about it. But if you want to check it out, if you want to meet me in Nicaragua in February for a Design Your Life retreat and yoga getaway, definitely check out kristinlajeunesse.com forward slash Nicaragua retreat 2016. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. Thank you so much for watching, and please remember to eat well and travel often. Mm -hmm.